Hi dear students, in this video I am uh, solving the question number 2 of exercise uh, 0 0.1 of my book uh, Calculus Howard and Onten edition 10. So uh, in the question number 2, the statement of question number 2 is use the accompanying table to answer the question posed in exercise 1. So I already solved the exercise 1 in my previous video and uh, now uh, the ex when I when I solve the exercise one, uh, I follow the table given in the book, uh, a graph in given the book, and now I have to follow this table to find uh, the value of x when our y is equals to one. So in this table, y is one here and here. So for what value of x y is one here the value of x is minus one for minus one y is one and four is uh, y is one so i just write here uh, for x is equals to minus one and x is equals to four these two points for those these two points y is equals to one in this table so the next uh, B part of this question is for what value of x is y is equals to 3. Now I have to find uh, the value of x whenever y is equals to 3. So there is no uh, point y is equals to 3 in our table. So the, there is no point for the, where the value of y is 3. So there is none point for x. Uh, none for x where y is 3 in given table none value none value for x so for my in my 3 uh, c part the question is that for what value of x of y for what value of y is x is equals to 3 now i have to find where is uh, in a table where is x is equal to 3 so uh, here is x is equal to 3 so uh, when uh, the x is equal to 3 then the value of y is minus 1 so for y is equal to minus 1 uh, the x is equals to 3 just write for y is equals to minus 1 for y is equal to minus 1, x is 3. x is equals to 3. So, similarly, uh, the next part, d part, for what value of, uh, for what value of x, y, is less than equals to zero so for what values of x y is less than is equals to zero now i have to find where is y is less than equals to zero the that there is here is equals less than equals to zero so first here is less than y is here uh, here y is less than and or equal to zero here and here there are three points such a point in our table where y is less than to zero so now i have to find for what values of y uh, what values of x y is less than equals to zero so for five three and zero for x is equals to five three and 0 for x is equals to 5 3 0 our y is less than 2 less than equals to 0 so similarly uh, you can you can do the e part that is uh, what uh, are the maximum and the minimum value of y and for what value of x uh, do the occur so in this part uh, we just have to find the what what uh, is the maximum 
and minimum value of y. Uh, maximum value in this graph is 9 and the minimum value in this graph is minus 2. So for the max, uh, maximum value 9, the value of x is 6 and the minimum value of, of uh, y is minus 2. So this minus 2 value comes whenever x is 0. So that is, uh, I just write the answer of uh, E part. I just write the answer of E part because this statement is very uh, long. I, I cannot uh, adjust here. So the answer is uh, the maximum value of y is 9 at x is equal to 6. Maximum value is 9 at x is equal to 6 and uh, the minimum value minimum value of y is equals to minus 2 minus 2 at 0 at at x is equals to 0 so this is our question number 2 now I am uh, solving the next question question number 3 uh, which is uh, shown in your screen I have to check uh, uh, the statement of question number three in each part of the accompanying graph determine whether the uh, graph uh, defines y as a function of x. So uh, in this question, question number three, question number three, the question number three. I have to check the given graphs are a graph of function or not. So uh, I just draw the rough rough sketch of uh, uh, given rough sketch of given graphs which is here on your book. Uh, the first uh, a part is similar like that. I have to check whether this is a graph of function or not and. Uh, the the statement a statement given that uh, the uh, graph defines y as a function of x y as a function of x so y as a function of x y is equal to f of x so uh, now we have to check uh, the vertical line test using the vertical line test I already explained uh, in my previous video when our vertical line test uh, uh, vertical line intercepts our graph at once point at once point so this graph uh, there are no such a uh, vertical line that intercept our graph at twice or uh, or more points so uh, that's why this uh, this graph is a graph of function this graph the given graph is a graph of function so whenever we have the second part of this question uh, that is that is just similar like that so we have to check this uh, this is a graph of a function or not so i draw i have to draw the vertical line test uh, i draw vertical lines so when i draw a vertical lines uh, along the y axis there no such a line exists uh, that uh, intercept our graph y is equal to f of x at two or more than points uh, in so that's why the, this uh, graph is a graph of a function similarly if we have uh, another graph which is uh, the c part that is equal similar like that so here a line exist such a line exists vertical line exists that intercept our graph at two points so whenever a vertical line intercept our graph at two or more than two points then our graph is a not a graph of function so we say that we say that here right here is a not a graph of function it is not graph of function uh, for a a part is a graph of function graph of function 
b is also is a graph of function graph of function so uh, the d part the d part is just a figure like ellipse so now uh, i again i have to check whether it's a graph of function or not and there is so yes it is not a graph of function because there exist uh, many uh, vertical lines that intercept our graph at two points so that's why it's also not a graph of a function so we write here it is not graph of function so dear students if uh, you like my videos then uh, please subscribe my channel and press the icon button for more informatic videos thank you very much for watching